Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So Gemini, this video will be for you if you have any Gemini placements or if you are dealing with a Gemini. All right, guys. So it's been a minute since I posted. Um, some of you guys, I didn't get the chance to do your reading before I went to London. So some of you guys may not be aware what's been happening. <sighs> okay, some of you guys, you already know that I am, I don't know if you can see it. I'm five months pregnant. It's not just fat. Some of it's fat, but it's, ba it's a baby. Um, so, yeah, that's why I've been kind of like one of the reasons why I've been kind of taking a bit more time off. But um, we found out um, that my father had passed away two weeks ago. Um, completely unexpected. Um, we don't know. We still don't know why he passed away. Um so yeah it's just it's just been chaotic and i was in london for a week um i was in london for um, i came back on friday and i just needed some time um so yeah thank you all for your patience and kind messages okay uh, for the ones who um did see my post and stuff like that or if you got the last reading that i did was a Taurus one so some of you guys if you got a tourist play, placement or you watch it for whatever reason you, you will know but um just let just keep you guys updated okay it's just is the last few months for me like pregnant with my first child you know miracle baby you know i was told that i can't have children um and then my, my father passed in a few weeks ago so yeah it's it's been a lot it's been a lot you know i couldn't just jump up here straight away because i was just going through it you know so but i feel ready now i feel ready um this makes me happy so you know it does so i need to do that as well all right um i just want to say for the what for those who can contribute towards my father's funeral which will be the end of next month um if you can contribute i'll there's a paypal which i'll leave in i'll leave both links in the description box okay um so if you're able to contribute and it doesn't you know everyone you know you, you know what's what's okay for you um so it'll be a there's even a paypal fundraiser so if you um if you have paypal you can use that or if you don't have paypal i've set up a go a go fund me on facebook for the ones who don't have access to paypal for whatever reason okay um it'd be much appreciated thank you all also some of you guys have been asking about personal readings for the last few months and I haven't done a personal reading in about three months because the pregnancy and I did say I'd get back on it um, November, December times and it's like towards December now and I am ready. I am ready to do personal readings. So um, I just, I'll just say if you've booked a personal reading with me before, you can go ahead and book it pay, pay it through paypal you really know how to do it yeah if you haven't please email me and tell me exactly what it is that you're um that you want me to look into and you know all those things all right um i think that's it for now i think that's it for now um let's get into it guys i'm going to see what comes out for you i'll see what's going on currently and then i'll see what's coming up for you let's start with the angel number messages i'll get two for you please remember to give the video a thumbs up it really helps the channel it helps push your videos out and if you feel like this resonates with another gemini as well please share it with them okay all right gemini i'm gonna say it um clueless someone is clueless about something is somebody being kept in the dark or some somebody's unaware of something clueless yeah, I don't know what that means just yet, but I, I'll probably figure it out at some point during the reading. So we have number 12. <clears throat> I am a visionary. OK, and it says here. It says here, creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. OK. Then we have number 10. I am ingenious. It says here, 
you have great leadership skills, your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organise all the detail, then direct others how to carry things out. Now, that's very, listen, that's very true for Gemini, okay? And if you're not at that place yet, that means that you might be still in your self-node energy, okay? But <clears throat> Geminis very much have the leadership role. Is for some of you guys, for some of you guys, it may be more natural. But if you're still struggling with that, it could be the fact that you need to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. But that that's definitely. That's definitely for you. My friend, my friend just called my air sign friend just called me as well. Aquarius friend. Anyways, um, well, I have to get back to her. Um, so. All right, let's see. Let's see the damage com confessions. I want to see what comes out this deck. I've used it in my last few readings and I do like it. So let's see. Okay. All right. I got one group chat yet, yeah, and the group chat is going off right now. Like it's, it's hilarious. Anyways, I don't normally like group chats, but it's with my family, and it, like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's do this. Um, what's what's going on with Gemini in regards to their love life right now? Because this is more like a of a love card, love love situation, you know. Let's see. I'm attracted to things that I know will fail. Yeah. And it says here, karmic contracts, lessons to learn, not ready for healthy love or commitment. Somebody needs to let go of the idea that they used to have years ago, um, their limitations, whoever, whether that's the Gemini themselves or whether it's a cross watcher watching. Yeah. That, OK, let me give you an example now. Yeah, it could be, for example, somebody is married like and they they're entertaining um connections relationships with somebody else you know them kind of things where it's like shouldn't even be doing that just get a divorce and move on yeah um okay another thing as well thank you another thing as well is when you know, people kind of, they get into connections and they know it's not going anywhere. And that's why they entertain it because it's like, well, I'm not going to take this seriously or I don't like this person that much or I'm not going to open up. OK, someone's got someone's got avoiding issues there. Um, OK, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Well, and also, I want to say someone could also have a problem with like allowing people to get close to them. So, oh, do you know what? I didn't realise this until about a few months ago. Um, and I forgot what the name is because it's something that I only just learnt about. Um, it's a thing where people don't, they don't, like, when they genuinely don't want relationships. And it's like, the thought of it, I can't, I don't know what the name is for it. I don't want to just start saying things because, you know, if I don't know, I'm going to say I don't know. But, um where people just like when it comes to feelings when it comes to like commitment they're just like no okay so there are people that if someone shows you they're like that just keep it moving okay respectfully all right tell me more please it says here you're sexy and you're cute babe yeah flirty coming on to you i want you making a move i basically just said it as well sometimes people kind of entertain things because let's see, because uh, this can go either way. Let's see. Drinking to numb the pain. Somebody's very avoidant. Somebody is extremely avoidant, and they could be operating off of a lower vibration. Okay, it's really giving me devil energy right now. Not like the devil card energy, yeah. Um, where they're given into temptation, they're not really doing things that are for their highest good, yeah. Whatever that means to that individual. Um, it says here, yeah, drinking to numb the pain, deep regret, feeling the loss, unhappy with my life, dealing with a lot and emotional breakdown. This someone, someone's not managing well. Why is whoever this is? I don't even know why. <sighs> Let 
this is why there's a lot of um, connections that are just people are very confused because people are make out like they lack somebody and all they really want is sex or all they really want is attention like people need to stop playing like that because you know like time is very special it's precious ah uh, anyways let's keep it moving i hurt you before you could hurt me Someone doesn't... I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it, yeah? Someone does not want a serious relationship. I don't know who this is, if this is... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'm not sure if this is someone that you dealt with that... where things weren't progressing, yeah? I don't know if that's the case. Or it's just going around in circles, but... Sometimes you have to take yourself off off of the um of the um the crazy train, yeah? Don't allow somebody like that to lead you into nonsense. Oh no. Oh no, we ain't doing that. Alright, let's keep it I'll get two more cards and I'll do a second situation, yeah? Because not everyone that's not everyone's situation. So we have whenever thing whenever something goes wrong, I just want to run back to you. Is that why this is this is a situation where it's kept on like continuing because someone because you feel like that person needs you or they they kind of reach out to you and you feel bad? It's I I feel like it's probably because you're you've you've let them know that you do care and you'll be there. But I feel like that's something to do with your boundaries, Gemini. Be careful. Be careful, yeah, just um, entertaining people who continue to hurt you or disrespect you and your time, yeah. Be careful because sometimes when people have, have access to you and you you may say, I don't like this, I don't like that, but you still allow them in your life, they'll keep playing you. So just please, please, please don't allow someone to play you like that, yeah, because we ain't doing that this year, 2023, 2024, we ain't doing it. Last one from this spread. This person is very consistent with their inconsistence. I make offers just to take them away later. Someone's leading you on. I don't know who this is, but you've been led on by somebody who doesn't want something serious. It's almost like an attention thing. Somebody's definitely an attention seeker, okay? Or they like seeing people react to them, okay? I don't like it. Whoever that is, like... And sometimes people might say, I love them, I love them. And that's, you don't, how can you love somebody like that? How can you love somebody who behaves like that? That's not love. That's lust. That's infatuation. That's not love. Okay. Don't know who needs to hear that today, whether it's the Gemini or the cross watcher. That is not love. Okay. That is, that's almost like, I want to, oh, I forgot, I forgot the character's name, but that's, I forget about it. Anyways, there is like, being so close to getting something, being so close and then have it taken away and then you want it even more because you were so close and you're like, well, I was, I was just there, I was touching it, I had it in my hand, it was, but it was taken away from you and you, you want it even more, okay? Example, not having a parent around, not having a father around as a kid and you want that so much. So when you're in a relationship with a guy, for example, and vice versa, men with women or whoever, whatever you're into, yeah? You try your hardest to make that relationship work because you never had that or you may put up with certain things because um, the father didn't set certain standards or boundaries, okay? So please understand whoever's dealing with that, that is not love, it's unacceptable and no. Not going into 2024, absolutely not. Anyways, I'm going to keep it moving, I'm, I'm done with that. All right, I'm done with that part, okay? I'm done. Story two. I can't wait to hear this 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 group chat, what they're talking about, because it's getting juicy. Anyways, story two. It's better when they are new. They don't know who I am. Yeah. My addictions are taking over my life. All right, these... Okay, this is crazy, because there's quite a lot of cards in this deck, yeah? And... They're not all like this, so it's very specific. Um, 
I'm just getting a very avoidant person in general. So some of you guys you're dealing with it. Some of you guys, it doesn't have to be a love situation. It could be like a close friend, a family member. But, you know, you make it apply to whatever, whoever it is in your life. You know, that's like that. Some of you guys, it could be like. Um, that could be a, a, a parent who just can't who can't um, see through the, uh, what they've what they've um, promised you. It could be, you know, somebody in your life like that. Doesn't have to be a love interest. You make me want to change. Hold, okay. So it's better when they are new. They don't know who I am. My addictions are taking over my life. You make me want to change. So you've challenged this person. You've shown them something or they've got deep shame within themselves where they're like, I can't continue my life like this anymore. This is embarrassing. This is not the way forward and this is not it yeah so and i want to say this too because what i don't like what i don't like personally and it's up to you guys what you want to do yeah with your life but it hurts me when i see people holding on to things that they should let go and it's just hurting them do you know what i mean let me say this now sometimes people changing doesn't always mean that you have to be in their life sometimes they change when you leave their life okay so keep that in mind i'm not telling you guys to leave nobody or whatever but i'm saying sometimes it works like that sometimes you have to remove yourself to tell this person that do you know what that per like uh gemini respects their boundaries their space their time their energy they do not accept me how i am right now it's is that they can't tolerate that they don't want to they may love me but they're showing me that I need to do better in order to be in, in, in Gemini's life, okay? So sometimes helping is not helping. Sometimes ha having access is, you know, everyone, you have to kind of ha use your own discernment with that, yeah? But at the same time, it's like you can't, it's not always for you to be in somebody's life for them to change. Sometimes you have to distance yourself to make that person realise that, hey, I'm losing people that I really care about because of my behaviour, I need to fix up, yeah? All right. Easily tempted. Okay, let's see what this says here. Weak-minded, easily manipulated, gives into temptation. What did I say earlier? But the devil card. Giving into temptation. I said that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. You heard me. Yeah. Okay. Um, Weak-minded, easily manipulated. Gives into temptation, can't say no, doesn't know how, lacks discipline, history of infidelity. Someone needs to grow up, yeah? Like, I'm just going to say what it is. I'm, no, like, I'm going to make it quick. Somebody needs to grow up. Somebody needs to learn how to be a, a, respect, a respectable, respectable adult. Yeah, and not act like a teenager of the whole life. Yeah, like like karma ain't a thing. Yeah. Someone needs to take control of themselves. Okay, whoever you're dealing with is like they need to fix up. Yeah, I feel I'm not gonna lie. I feel like somewhere along the like somewhere along the line, this person's been enabled. Somebody's been enabling this person, whether it be their parents, whether it be something like pretty privilege or maybe this person got money or this person there there's something about them that people are like oh it's just they're just like that or whatever and it's like it's not helping them it's not helping them change or become a better person or they have a certain friendship group where they're like hey let's let's go drinking tonight or hey let's do this let's do that and they're like they don't have i don't feel like this individual has good people around them that hold them accountable for their behavior i don't feel like this person has people around them because for me true friends will call you out yeah you ain't my friend if you ain't calling me out and saying hey you know georgia i you you know you could have said that in a, in a better way or georgia maybe calm down before you know call me out let me know if i'm if i'm effing up don't just be sitting there like like you know, Oh, yeah, you know, oh, well, they were rude or, or, you know, or, yeah, they deserve that. No, call people out on their BS. That's how people learn. Let them know that it's not tolerated. Somebody was enabled. It's been enabled. So be careful of, of doing that as well. Somebody was babied here. 
yeah grow up whoever that is yeah grow up yeah Ooh. okay clearly you guys know i don't like people like that i'm give me a minute last card on this one is i really want to help you but i can't i'm going through too much and it says here unreliable excuses feeling tied up I'll, I'll be honest with you, I feel like somebody can't even help themselves right now, um, let alone anybody else, whoever that person is. I don't know who that person is to you. Let me know if that's like an ex, a partner, like if it's a family member, a friend. Someone needs to be held accountable, yeah? Somebody may need the intervention, all right? All right, I'm, I'm keeping that moving. Let's use some tarot. Let's see what else is going on. Um, let's just say from whenever you watch, let's just say, oh, I don't really like giving a time limit on it, you know? From whenever you watch it, yeah? From whenever we watch this reading. <clears throat> All right. Gemini. Gemini. If you play with fire, you will get burned. Okay? I'm, I'm, I just saw... Um, oh, who... You know where people walk on fire, like the hot um, thing? They walk over it and it's supposed to be like a um uh not a spiritual but kind of like a i don't know where they do it but i've seen it not physically seen it but like on tv and stuff like that but people like they walk over fire and not actual fire but it's like these hot rocks or something like that anyways let's see what that means or anyways uh gemini what's going on with gemini please revision make sure you do your research make sure you know what you're talking about make sure that you understand what's coming up okay don't i don't know if that's doesn't have to be literal like like you're in school but it could be like for some of you guys it could be something to do with a court case it could be something to do with a job like a meeting someone checking to see if you're doing your duties it could be something to do with somebody's schooling is there something make sure you know your shit OK, don't 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 be unprepared in regards to something that's coming up for you. OK, what well, you'll know what that means more than me. OK, don't don't leave it to somebody else. Yeah, make sure that you are aware. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure you got, you'll understand more than me. All right, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini, please. Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands. Are you busy doing a lot of things, loads of things, loads of communication, not sure where to start? Where the, yeah? The three of pentacles. Some of you guys is in regards to your work, okay? Especially if you're like self-employed or if you're working for somebody and you, you've been overwhelmed with, with, with work and you're like, where do I start, okay? Um, so you're going to be, you go, you're going to be busy. The two of cups yeah the six of wands some of you guys have a successful relationship um or you will be in a very successful relationship there'll be a lot of attention between the both of you you both will appreciate what you do what you bring okay it could be a it could be a leo there it could be a a, a water sign pisces cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio yeah doesn't have to be something the full moon is a full moon was it yesterday or beautiful who saw that the full moon absolutely stunning um could be something around there or the full moon's um, impacting something okay tell me more please the hanged man yeah the king of swords you're looking at things differently logically okay so being very practical you're thinking a lot, Gemini. A lot's going on in your mind right now in your life. Um, what is what is this around, please? The Ten of Cups is about your home, your family life. Okay, so if you guys are building a home or like um, homemakers, okay, it's something to do with your family in your home. Yeah. That's what you, that's what you think, that's what's really in your mind at this time. Could be maybe Christmas you're thinking about or, or anything like that. Tell me more. 
the ace of pentacles some of you guys are going to have end up having a new home so whoever's um been looking into that i wouldn't be surprised if you come back and say g georgia or Gigi, however you know me yeah i got the house or i've just moved or you know so um congratulations in advance okay um we've got the judgment card why the empress oh some of you guys may hear about a pregnancy some of you guys it may be mixed emotions in regards to a pregnancy okay tell me more please the emperor oh look at the empress and the emperor right there some of you guys need to understand yeah <coughs> someone gemini or cross watch you need to understand that whatever something may be unexpected somebody may side eye something some kind of news but please know i don't normally speak like that but i want to say it's divine intervention something is meant to be okay do not fight against it okay something's meant to happen okay it's the right time for something it was written it's been written thank you thank you it's been written already this was meant to happen okay i love that let's keep it let's keep it moving we have the seven of wands yeah the queen of pentacles some of you guys may feel like there's been something um, that's stagnant in, in regards to your work or your money. Yeah. The star. The star is born. I said that in Taurus's one. The star. Uh, things will improve. Things will improve, okay? Oh, oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> if you... For those... Right, let me put it like this. Let me kind of eliminate one, one group of Geminis. If you are happy and fulfilled in your career and stuff like that, this message ain't too much for you. If Gemini, you are, if you have a job or if you're looking for work or looking looking to get into a different field of work, please know that if you've been told no, do not let that knock your confidence. Understand that that's the universe pushing you in a different direction to where you need to be. So there's... I don't want to know shopping around or, oh, this person rejected me. No, sometimes you have to create your own opportunities or do something completely different. Do not let no, um, you know, deflate you, yeah? Don't allow that to, to, to bring you down, yeah? Because sometimes for me personally and for many of you, hearing no is the best thing that you could have heard. Because not everything is a yes, yes, and it goes your way. Or they even work out for us sometimes when we hear yes. So sometimes a no is just as good as a yes because it'll push you in the right direction, okay? So please, please keep that in mind, yeah? Don't feel sorry for yourself. Just get up and think about what's next, okay? Don't sit in that sorrow. What is next? Some some of you guys may have gone for a job that you really wanted and you didn't get it. There's a reason for it. How are you going to handle it is, is what really determines, like, how you're moving forward next, okay? Whoever needed to hear that, all right? I'm not going to stick in it for too long. Let's keep it moving. More, please, for Gemini. Temperance. The Ace of Swords. Ooh. Some of you guys could be doing therapy. Um, some of you guys could be really he healing through therapy. Or if it's not actually therapy, it could be meditation. It could be, you know, you healing your inner child. There's something, something that you're speaking about that's really freeing you, liberating you. Um... I want to say making you feel invincible, making you feel like there's this weight off your shoulder. All right, that's beautiful. That's really, that's, it's amazing. It's not easy, um, but it's necessary. Yeah, it's necessary. Keep pushing through. Yeah, keep pushing through. That's a great thing. Um, what else can you tell me? The five of wands. Yes. The six of swords. You ain't got time for the drama. You like you ain't got time for it. These people are here fighting and you're moving on like bye. Yeah. So um keeping yourself away from anything that kind of affects your vibration. 
your back's turned to that yeah you're not even involved in that the high priestess so you're moving you're moving forward in silence so you're being very protective of your, of your energy your next move all right tell me more the five of swords you feel like you're fighting a silent battle is that a thing silent battle like like people are unaware of it a battle in your mind yeah okay the ace of wands The Three of Cups. You will reach a place. You will reach a... Not a physical place. I want to say like a mental or emotional place in your life where you will be celebrating. Please celebrate. The, I want to remind you, celebrate the small wins as well. Okay, that help, that's what keeps you grounded as well. Celebrate the small wins like, okay, I woke up early today. I went to the gym today. Okay, I drank more water today. Okay, I swept up. Whatever is a win for you, okay, celebrate those things. Okay, it's going to keep you grounded. Also, some of you guys may, um, something that you're passionate about, you could also be rewarded. You could be um, um praised for that there may also be some kind of um event coming up for you okay it could be in regards to like a wedding baby shower um some kind of event when people come together yeah it could be as simple as some of you guys get in that house i was talking about that new home winning a court case whatever it is okay something something you'll, you'll be getting some good news all right guys that's lovely all right so let's get it that's the end of the reading there. You got quite a few messages out of that. So I'm going to do, um, get a, uh, what's it called? Soul Truth Self-Awareness card for you before I end the reading. Please, um, just a quick reminder, if you can contribute towards uh, my dad's funeral, I'd be highly grateful for that. The, the information is in the description. One is PayPal, one is GoFundMe. So if you haven't got PayPal, you can use the GoFundMe. All right, guys, um, I haven't got cash up anymore. Cash up is just a joke, to be honest. Like, they keep on um, restricting my account. For, for what reason, I don't know. Like, I just, I'm done. I've tried to get it back, and it's a joke. So, um, I would have said use that, but it's just not available. Um, I might try, actually, I might, set, I might um, try and get one set up via my sister. I might see, I might see if i can sort that out anyways um but in the meantime please uh, donate um to the ones in the description and i am doing personal readings now as well okay guys just to let you guys know um if you have booked a personal reading with me before and you know how it goes book it let me know what you want exactly okay and then i'll get on to it um if not please email me let me know that is your first time and um yeah i will guide you all right so Okay, we have here, am I willing? Let's see what this is talking about here. Um, you are on the edge of something great. Okay, can you feel it? There is a risk, uncertainty and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vul vulnerability is a requirement. Yeah. Stepping outside your comfort zone, doing things that you might not like or yeah. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. All right. Today's sole action is be brave, follow your heart's compass and lift the lid on your own dreams. OK, so allow them to expand to reach the sky. Yeah. All right. Today's mantra is it's possible. It's possible. All right. And that's a very nice ending. I like that. I love you all. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your support, your kind words. For the ones who have donated, for the ones that will donate. Um, you're amazing. Okay, guys. I look tired. Remember, I'm five hours pregnant. Can you see my baby? Did I show you guys? Did I show you? See my baby. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I love you so much. You know I do. And um, I will see you in your next reading. 
Bye, guys.